try to say I said it. All right. Yeah. Let's do a reading for you. I'm Amira if it's your first time here. Thanks for clicking on the video. Um, this is going to be general, of course, because we're on the internet. If you guys want a personal session with me, okay? A spiritual healing session with Amira. You can check out my website, insightfulhealing.com. I'm so sorry, Sag. I'm all fidgety. All right. Okay, is that what's going on with you right now? Are you feeling fidgety? Okay. Um, yeah. So, you have third house that came out. As well as the... Oh, I thought that was a south node. It's north node for you. I know you can't see it. You know, it's just for special effects. <laughs> okay. So, um, maybe important to for you to watch your north node placement. Our north node represents the energy that we're meant to aspire toward. Let's put it that way. So, for instance, my north node is in Capricorn while my south node is in Cancer. Okay? It's always opposite signs. So in past life, that Cancerian energy has already been mastered, okay? Fourth house, home and family, um, nurturing, emotional, um, sensitive, disciplined with the emotional space. Already been mastered. It's a matter of now mastering that Capricorn space of focusing on Midhaven, career, um, parental expectations and beliefs or um, like parenting styles, techniques. Okay, I'm hearing nutrition as well. Okay, is that something that you're focusing on or something that you want to, I feel like somebody wants to improve their nutrition. Um, all right, but you're making progress here. You're making progress with something Okay, so I don't know. Be happy. I feel like somebody's not. I, I guess that's where my my confusion or sarcasm comes in. Yeah. All right. That took a while. Yeah. Maybe something is taking a while and you just have to trust that all will be well. Okay, so you have some Virgo energy here. Perhaps you have Virgo South Node or North Node may be worth checking out. New Moon, also very relevant. New Moons are a good time to begin something new, set your intentions, and manifest. So you're starting something new. For some of you, um, for others of you, majority of you, like I said, it feels like you're waiting for something to progress okay or something is progressing let's see let's get some more information here let's see if we can get one or two more of these and then we'll jump into the tarot show me sagittarius at this time please was that your reading <laughs> i'm getting like somebody feels pressured to explain themselves. Okay. Yeah, see the bigger picture here? You are full moon in Sagittarius, so you're explaining yourself to somebody or you feel the need to explain yourself to somebody. Maybe you're encouraging someone to trust that all will be well. This could be someone in your environment, someone you're connected to in a relationship with or have a relationship with. <clears throat> I heard excuses and explaining. Okay, I don't know. A lot of communication. Yeah, third house. There's a lot of communication going on here. A lot of thinking going on here. Okay, I'm also too getting a lot of like forgetfulness or gaps in in time. I'm not sure what that's about, Sag. I feel like that was a recent reading of yours also okay 
What's going on with your memory? Are you having memory problems or someone in your environment is? Okay, yeah. It could be something that runs in the family for some of you. All right, um, let's get one more. <laughs> All right, so you have um, last quarter moon in Taurus. Be proud of yourself. Interesting. I feel someone trying to prove another person wrong. Okay, would that be proud of yourself card? If any of this is relevant to your life and situation, Sag, then it will make sense to you. Okay, put the pieces where they belong, always connect intuitively, and remember that this reading is general. And you have more Cancerian energy. Let your fears dissolve. Okay. New moon, full moon, last quarter moon. A lot of tension here. A lot of changes. Okay. You may be seeing a lot of um, um, angel numbers at this time, but specifically I was getting 555. Five, five. I feel like there's there's tower moments, okay? Or there, maybe there's one big tower that creates a, a whole collision. <laughs> All right, and you have Leo energy here. Don't let pride get in your way. So that could certainly give us an explanation or two. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's see. <laughs> um, let me check in on Sag's energy, please. Let's see what's going on for Sag at this time. Show me their energy as they're experiencing it with this situation. There's a lack of trust here that I'm definitely picking up on, Saj. Okay, so you don't trust this person is what I'm getting. In conversation with them, in dialogue with them, maybe you feel like you're doing flips in your brain even for some of you. With this mercurial energy, you may feel as though you're being um, manipulated, controlled. But something's progressing or you're trying to make something progress. You're trying to work together with another person here. I see that clearly there's another energy here that you are attempting to collaborate with in some way, build a team, have a relationship, partnership, so on and so forth. Okay. Yeah. Could be a water sign for sure. Have you on the Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Okay, yeah, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. You see this person as a foundational part of your... Um, longevity, stability, your day-to-day, -day, all right? You may share resources with this person or share space with them. So some of you may live with this person, work with this person, etc. But you're in this energy of trying to figure out, like, are we going to get anywhere? So you're unsure of this. I feel like, like I said, you've had to be really patient. I think I said that out loud. <laughs> I feel like you've had to be really patient here, exercise. Okay, I'm hearing manners. Yeah, so what about your manners? You've had to exercise patience um, here, Saj. All right, let's see what else. 
Yeah, the Nine of Swords. So are you in, are you anticipating these changes or this change? Hmm. Right, let me see. Tell me more about this Seven of Pentacles for Asagi, please. The Queen of Swords. And the hangman. Yeah. And the Ten of Pentacles. I, I mean, whoever this is, Sag, or whatever it is, you're, it's something that I want to say you're really passionate about. But beyond passion, it's, it's commitment. It's my livelihood. I don't know what the connection is here, but there's some kind of long-standing connection. I feel like the two of you, yeah, the Page of Wands, I feel like the two of you have some sense of freedom from me. Okay, I wanted to say from each other, interesting. This is changing. You're thinking a lot about this. Okay, so are you considering committing? Okay, let's, let's see. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. You're considering progressing this um, relationship in one way or another. Okay. But also very unsure of Again, all this this air energy. Okay, you have the Queen of Swords and then you have the Hangman coming out, which is Neptune. Neptune is that Piscean energy of like... I don't know. Somebody has a one-of-a-kind like perspective here. Perhaps that creates tension of some sort. Okay, let's see, what's this? What's this Be Proud of Yourself card? All right, I was picking up on some kind of energy where someone feels the need to prove another person wrong. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, what is this, please? Okay, I'm hearing cancer season. You have the six of pentacles coming out. Yeah, this more more touring energy. Let me get one more. I feel like someone again is struggling with the the process how long something is taking how little i have to show for it or something like this it's like there's a need to have an attitude of gratitude basically essentially here it's the knight of pentacles you know it's, it's not the knight of wands it's not flighty it's not fleeting it's not inconsistent you know the knight of pentacles is still going to get the job done it's just going to take a little while but it's more practical. Okay. Whoa. All right, one card flew over there, but I'm not even gonna attempt to get it. It's all like all the way up underneath the desk. And I wanna see, actually, I'll just get another deck. That solves that. All right, let me see here. What's this um, Knight of Pentacles, please, for Sassy? Yeah. And remember, we have this card saying, don't let pride get in the way. Okay? Don't let ego get in the way. Same thing. I feel like somebody's stubborn here. Okay, what's the Knight of Pentacles? The Fool and the Two of Wands. 
there you are and the, and there's the six of swords nine of pentacles it's like someone's re someone is regretting having made a particular choice before it even actually pans out something's gonna take longer it's gonna take more time it's gonna take more cultivation effort energy resources yada 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 Okay, let me see this, please. I feel like you have an opportunity here, Sag, though, to be in a more stable position. Okay, especially financially, if this is what you're looking for, looking at or talking about with regard to this other energy we're picking up on okay it's like if i team up with you i'll be more stable kind of situation maybe somebody is struggling through the idea of that here there was this please yeah and so there's fears mm -hmm. and there's a need to trust that all will be well okay Moon and Cancer. Queen of Swords again and the Queen of Cups. Okay. And the Ace of Swords. I heard I'm looking at it objectively. And there you are, temperance. So you you're gonna find the solution here, Sag. The thing about it, I'm not really sure of the time frame of this for you, because timing is okay. Um <laughs> But all in due time, things are, are happening the way that they are meant to, you know. Tomorrow is, it can be viewed as a day later than I'd like my decision to be. But what can you learn from tomorrow that you can add to the end result? I hope that made sense. Okay, gratitude. Somebody needs to do some gratitude activities here. Okay, right, I'm not gonna start spilling any off, but you reach out, you need some. 